right? It's a purely object-oriented language. Uh, it's pretty conservative compared to, say, Newspeak, so it's more like small talk because there are static variables, which are like class variables. Uh, it will eventually have mirror-based reflection, very much like strong talk, but it doesn't have that yet, so right now it's kind of missing. It certainly is JavaScript-like syntax. Uh, right now, the privacy model is different. There's, uh, we have this notion of library-based privacy, which is sort of like package privacy in Java, but a little different. And that's very different from strong talk. It's one of the things I personally would like to change, but probably unlikely to change. We might add object privacy as well because the two don't really contradict but it's too early to tell we're also waiting a lot on feedback from people once we put it out there we'll see how how people react so that's probably the biggest difference from the basic small talk model uh, what else i guess we have accessors built in which we didn't have in strong talk so that's actually a, uh, an advance in a way a small advance but a fairly crucial one so uh, attribute uh, accessors yeah and essentially yeah, basically the same as in JavaScript, actually, uh, which isn't necessarily the only way to do it, but that's the way they're set up right now. We have this factory mechanism, which is kind of nice, decoupling uh, the manufacturing of objects from from the actual class or instance implementation type that you're doing, which is very important. So that's also kind of neat. And so when you you know you think of strong talk or, or a standard small talk, those are actually some things that are slightly better. But we're uh, the optional types behave a little differently, of course. But that's getting very, very technical. That's kind of I've probably forgotten something, but that gives you. How the about uh, mixins? We didn't hear about mixins at all. Is uh, there mixins? There, there, there aren't mixins there yet. Are mm -hmm. There aren't mixins at this time. The thought has crossed our minds. We have heard of this idea. Okay. But we'll see. It would be really nice uh, for libraries to to be able to mix in parts and stuff to manage the hierarchy, but. So far, we are sticking to very, very conservative stuff. Yeah, because that's one of kind of the very successful things in, in say, Ruby, for instance, mm -hmm. applying mixins very widely. I mean, it's basically you won't, proven you won't get much argument from me, but uh, so far they're not there. Okay. Could I just say uh, one question? Yeah. To all the people who's not here today, could you give us uh, Dart and headlines? Dart and headlines. Uh, come over to the Dart side. I guess if you, if you want more of a summary, it's a pure object-oriented language, single inheritance, class-based, optionally typed. And if you don't know what optionally typed means, read all about it on the website. Basically a dynamically typed language with types you can use when you want them and don't get in your way when you don't. And a few subtitles as well. Tell us a little bit more about uh, that. Uh, volume 6 of the Dart language specifications. <laughs> no. Uh, we do have, uh, Dart is uh, designed for programming to the web. Uh, there are essentially two implementations right now. There's a VM and there's a compiler called Dart C that compiles Dart to JavaScript, which means that you can run Dart on any modern browser. It better be a modern browser, right? We're not targeting backwards compatibility to IE6 or something, but you know, a, a nice browser like Chrome will do very nicely. And so you should be able to run it anywhere. Uh, you should be able, uh, it's very early now, it's a, just a technology preview, but the goal is to let you write programs entirely in Dart, so you don't have to worry about gluing server and client code and such. Uh, has actor-based concurrency, that's another difference from, from StrongTalk. And uh, yeah, how many subtitles do you want? How many do you want to give? I didn't want to give any. I'm doing this under duress, don't you know? <laughs> I'm actually very happy. So I know this is, is this is very early, but when do you? So, so what what is your like roadmap? What is your what is your plan for when? When do you think this is like a, a production level? Um, uh, I I uh, well, uh, you're not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not, not that. The I'm not the one to ask exactly, but. Is at some point down the road, in the future, I will qualify that it is in the future rather than the past, it will become a product. How about that? That I can safely say. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we're really waiting to see what the feedback is like. It's very early. The language may change. The features may change. Uh, we're really trying to take a data-oriented, kind of googly approach to this to actually find out the, the, that's a nice thing about the web. We've actually started to do this sort of thing, looking like what features people use in JavaScript and how popular they are. And 
that can help us sometimes with our decisions because at Google we can, we can just find out how many people are doing X in a JavaScript program on the planet. It's, uh, there's a guy who sits next to me who can do wonders with that sort of stuff. And so we can actually base our decisions on data, which is kind of scary because if, what if the data doesn't agree with me? Well, it's obviously wrong, but uh, we're, we're going to see how it plays out and I'm not sure what the timeline is. How about the Android story? How does this connect? How does all this Dart stuff connect to Android? And does it have anything to do with this upcoming Android release called Ice Cream Sandwich? Thank you for that question. I really am glad you asked that question because obviously I'm going to tell you all about Ice Cream Sandwich. No, I, I, uh, I can say this, uh, right? It'll run on Android just like it runs anywhere else because it runs everywhere. Uh, and anything beyond that, you can speculate. Lots of things might make sense, but I'm not going to talk about them.